in this problem we have a polynomial function here uh, a third degree function and we're being told that negative 2 is one of the zeros so we're given that little hint and what we want to come up with at the end is this same function but written as a product of all its factors so all the factors lined up together and multiplied by each other so how are we going to do this well this is a complicated problem and we're going to take it step by step we're going to take that zero and convert it to a factor first then we're going to do some polynomial long division that's going to allow us to get a quadratic out of this thing after we divide out the, the factor that we'll get from that zero once we've got the quadratic we can find the zeros of that either by factoring uh, or we can uh, use the quadratic formula and then convert those zeros into factors if we had to use the quadratic formula and then just line up all the factors so those are the steps let's start with converting this zero uh, to a factor basically what this is saying is x equals negative two so if we want to convert that to a factor we want to set that equal to zero I'm going to do that by adding 2 to both sides. So I get x plus 2 equals 0. So this is one of our factors, x plus 2. That's part of the final answer. So we want to remember that. It's also what we're going to use in our polynomial long division. So I'll put x plus 2 out here. And then we'll make our little division symbol here. And then now we've got to be careful with this one. We've got x cubed. We've got no x squared term here, so we have to put in a placeholder for that. So don't forget to do that. I've got my x cubed. I'm going to add plus 0x squared, because we have to have all the powers in order here for this to work. And then plus 46x and plus 100. All right, so let's try our long division here. The first question I would ask myself is, what do I multiply x by to get x cubed? The answer is x squared. So I'll put an x squared up here to start with, and then I'll multiply this by each of these terms. So x squared times x is x cubed. It's just what we want. And x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Now I have to subtract this. And x cubed minus x cubed is 0. Great. 0x zero squared minus 2x squared is minus 2x squared. So we finished our subtraction, so we bring down the next term. So that's plus 46x. Now we want to ask ourselves, what do we need to multiply x by to get negative 2x squared? The answer is negative 2x. So negative 2x times x, negative 2x squared. And then negative 2x times the 2 here is negative 4x. And now we're going to subtract this. Kind of be careful about the signs when you do this. Negative 2x squared minus a negative 2x squared. That's like a negative 2x squared plus 2x squared, which is 0. That's what we expected. We always want this first term to disappear. This second term, 46x minus a negative 4x. That's like adding 4x. So this is actually 50x, positive 50x. All right, so next question is, what do I need to multiply x by to get 50x? The answer is 50. So we put that up here. 50 times x. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring down the 100. So 50 times x is 50x. And 50 times 2 is 100. And this is exactly what we want to see, because when we subtract this, we have a remainder of 0. So that shows x plus 2 is indeed a factor of this. And we're left with this quadratic, x squared minus 2x plus 50. And unfortunately, this is not going to factor. So we can't just get our factors by doing some easy factoring here. So I think we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is negative b. Well, that's a negative negative 2. So that's a, a positive 2 negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which would be 4, minus 4ac. So 4 times a times c, that's going to be 4 times 50 times 1. That's 200. Uh-huh, we're going to have some complex roots here. Uh, and then this is all over 2a. Well, a is the coefficient of the x squared term. That's 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. All right. 
So let's see if we can do some simplification here. 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 196 over 2. And, oh, well, 196 um, is the perfect square of 14. So four, 14 times 14 is 196. So if I take the square root of 196, I'll get 14. If I take the square root of negative 1, I'll get i. So actually, let me just make that explicit. We can call this the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 196. So I'm going to get 2 plus or minus 14 times i over 2. And this can be simplified further. The um, 2 over 2, that's 1. And the 14 over 2 would be a 7. So this is 1 plus or minus 7i. OK, so those are the zeros. What this means is x equals 1 plus 7i, and x equals 1 minus 7i. And if we want to convert these to, um, to factors, we'll just set these equal to 0 by subtracting everything. So if I subtract 1 and subtract 7i from the first one, I get x minus 1 minus 7i as a factor. And then I'd get x minus 1 minus a negative 7i. That would be plus 7i as a factor. All right, so those are our two complex factors. Let me see if I can grab all of this without bringing extraneous stuff. Oops, darn it, I'm missing some. Let's try that again, maybe if I clean up this first. OK, now I think I can grab all of this. OK, so those two are factors, plus this guy right here was our original factor. You put all of those together, just line them up, you've got your answer. So these are all of the factors of this function, x cubed plus 46x plus 100.